Hi, my name's Andy. I'm here at Dragon Meet 2014. Uh, I'm here with Robin Elliott from Triple Ace Games. Welcome. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks. Yeah. Um, let's talk about Triple Ace Games. Cool. Uh, where, how long have you been a company? Okay, well, we started producing role-playing games back in 2008 um, as a separate company. We were part of, well, myself and my business partner were part of Pinnacle Entertainment, who produced a Deadlands role-playing game, okay. and, and also Savage Worlds. Uh, and we decided to, to start our own company to produce Savage Worlds settings. So uh, for the first few years, we, we made a lot of role-playing uh, games, including Hellfrost, and uh, Sun Disguise, and these are all settings that use the Savage Worlds generic rules. Uh, and this, just this, like this year, we've just uh, gone into some more tabletop type, type games, uh, and we've got Rocket Race, which is our latest card game. As you can see, there you go. Okay. Yeah, um, and we've been running demos here at Dragon Meat, and uh, we had some copies back in Expo back in the summer, and it was uh, a real success. Uh, and we decided to do a Kickstarter, which um, uh, was funded back in October. Brilliant. So uh, next year there'll be a retail version for that available around April, we hope. Um, and um, we're really happy with the with the game, and we we hope that people enjoy it and and come back for some more uh, of our card games next year because we've got some other things planned as well. So. Oh, really? Well, let's talk Rocket Race. Yeah. How does it work? How many, how many players does it play? Uh, well, it's quite a clever game because uh, it's very flexible. We've, we've actually put two levels of rules in there. Okay. Uh, the basic standard game is a bidding mechanic. So each player has a resource of cogs and they have to purchase uh, rocket components to build their steampunk rockets. Uh, and uh, that only kind of works if you've got three three players minimum. Uh, and that works to three to six players. And then there's a more advanced version, which is kind of a resource management system uh, where each player represents a, a league, which is one of the, the Victorian clubs that are employed to try and build a rocket to get to the moon and in that version you uh, each turn you um, store up um, scientific research in your workshop and each of the component cards you can buy by spending certain types of, of science on, on the cards and the aim of the game is to build a, a rocket that's reliable enough to reach the moon and if you land on the moon uh, then you win the game oh brilliant cool. so uh, how long does the game take to play well it's it, once you understand the rules it's a 20 minute game it's it's a fairly quick filler game oh, yeah. oh, it's quite simple there's some other cards which uh, which you can play as event cards and they uh, you can help yourself to kind of building better rockets and sabotaging your opponents so uh, yeah there's a lot of scope in the game for sort of different strategies. Oh brilliant and so when this is released next year will it be available online? Uh, yes it will yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well it'll be it's going into general distribution so you'll be able to buy it from any like leisure games or any other uh, gaming store uh, you can buy it direct from us as well at triplacegames.com. Oh brilliant awesome one last question before sure. we go uh, any other big plans for 2015 that we can get a, out of a, you right a now? A scoop is yeah. what you're after. I'd okay. love a scoop. Uh, we've got uh, a rocket race uh, expansion uh, planned okay. as a Kickstarter for sometime next year. Yep. It's going to be called Rocket Race Raiders. Okay. Uh, it adds a whole, whole new dimension. Instead of just flying to the moon, you have to take a trip to Mars. Okay. So once you build your rocket and you get into into space, you have to, about probably going to be like six turns to get to the, to Mars. And in that time, your opponents could also catch up with you. There's going to be a new component type for the rocket which will be weapons so you'll be able to shoot down your opponents with steampunk weapons oh wow so that's uh, that's planned for next year uh, we also will be continuing our um, uh, role-playing stuff uh, rocket race is based on a role-playing game for, called leagues of adventure okay which looks like that Brilliant. Um, and it's a steampunk victorian uh, role-playing game and next year we're hoping to bring out um, a Kickstarter to, to raise funds for um, uh, Leagues of Adventure um, horror version which hopefully will include some Cthulhu. Okay. So there'll be like a, a League of Gothic Horror it's going to be called. So look out for that as well. Brilliant. So there's a couple of scoops for Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank
Thank you for showing to us. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Thanks, Andy. Cheers. Yeah. Thank uh, you. I've been Andy at Dragon Meat 2014. If you'd like to view more videos from Dragon Meat, uh, click subscribe below. Thanks. Cheers.